Okay, hello everyone. I have some tips and tricks for every boss. This video contains the essential tips for new players and veterans. So even if you're an experienced player, you might be able to learn a few things. So yep, let's start with the first boss. So the first boss is Butcher. He is resistant to fire, so don't better try to burn him, it won't work. Poison will, will work better on him instead of fire. Butcher has flaming hook in his hands, so when he hits with it, you start to burn. To avoid this, use chokes. Then the fire of the hook will go out and you won't burn after Butcher hits you. Of course, you can use melee attacks. With the melee attacks, it's good to have stamina with you. It will be much more easier. I don't recommend attacking when he has rage. Uh, you won't deal too much damage. You probably will take more on, on yourself. The last tip for Butcher is you can also make it quickly but loudly with a sticky bomb. This is the fastest way. The boss will lose around 75%. Of HP. So finally, after killing the boss, pay attention to his hook when he falls. As you can see, while he is falling, he can hit you. After the hit, you will lose 50 HP. So be careful for that, keep that in your mind. Next one is Scrubic. If you want to kill him silently, uh, kill him with melee attacks. The important thing on the compound where is Scrubic is the point that there is no tools around, no ammunition, no first aid kits, no loot in general around it. So keep that in mind. All the loot have boss scrubbing on him. For every 25% of the boss's HP reduced, he drops loot. Keep that in mind. Of course, he drops ammunition, first aid kits, tools and also, he may drop a perk, but when the scrubbing is set on fire or explodes, all items from it are destroyed. So, I don't recommend throwing sticky bombs, uh, but you can if you want, of course. Remember that the location where the boss is, there are a lot of lit lanterns also, so while fighting him, he can set himself on fire, destroying the lit lantern. So remember to turn off all the lanterns before you even start fighting him. That's the important thing. Now it's time for the assassin. As with every boss, melee attacks are traditional methods that you can use to kill the boss. In the case of assassin, the sticky bomb doesn't work, remember that. It simply falls off. Burning works quite good on the assassin, yeah, so we can burn him. Usually the place where the assassin is is full of lanterns, so you can use the lanterns that are on the compounds. Poison works also well. Remember assassin sometimes throwing knives at you, which cause that you're bleeding. It is quite annoying for that. It always works, in my opinion, a uh, region shot, so it is good to have it, especially on the assassin. In my opinion, the most annoying boss but yeah, poison, fire and melee attacks, the most effective ways to kill this boss. The next boss is spider. As for the spider, it is resistant to poison, so don't even try anything with poison. It doesn't work for this boss. A standard thing, melee attacks work quite well with that boss. It's a good idea to have an antidote shot because the spider spits poison and leaves the, the clouds of the poison so if you step on this clouds in this cloud uh, that will deal damage during the spider's rage do not attack him i don't recommend you it's the same with actually every boss you will just deal little damage to him almost nothing you can throw a sticky bomb it works the sticky bomb with the spider but you have to hit the mouth inside the spider mouth then it will work if not it will fall off i think and yeah, it won't deal damage. That's it for the spider, I think that's all. Nothing too complicated, it's pretty easy to kill him. It's time for Rod Joe. By the way, it's her. If someone doesn't know, it is not him, but her. So, anyway, Rod Joe is a boss that can only be found in the water. 
it works best with melee attacks and also it is weak to poison and explosive. It only attacks when you are in the water. So if you want to fight the boss, you need to be in the water to attack it. You have to enter the water, as I said, and provoke the Rodjo to come out of the water and attack. If she attacks you or when she attacks you, it's best to move aside and after your move, you can hit the Rodjo. After the hit, Rodjo is hiding again under the water and you need to wait until she come out again. What else will also work and help you with Rodjo? Well, stamina shot. Stamina shot is a very good thing here and Gator legs as a perk will definitely come in handy. Thanks to which you can move faster in the water and that will make your life more easy. From previous bosses, which you can have two bounties from Rod Joe there is only one bounty to take keep that in your mind so the last boss in this video is Hellborn Hellborn in case of this boss I advise you to just kill him as soon as possible it burns quite quickly the stripes and your life just and you have to be careful about that of course after killing the boss you will regain the burnt stripes don't worry the most effective way to kill Hellborn is sticky bomb poison or just with any other gun, shotgun or whatever. It is worth knowing that Choke's clouds extinguish the burning balls from Hellborn which he throws. This means that when you are hit with the burning ball or rock, you will not get fire, you will only get damage. After killing Hellborn there is no banish, the reward is ready to, to be taken immediately. It is one reward as the case of Rodjo. And the other one good thing is that after killing the boss, you also get a perk. So it is always nice to have it. And that's it for this video. It's all the bosses that we currently have in Unshowdown. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it helpful. And if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It will be highly appreciated. I always recommend you to watch other videos from my channel. I wish you a very lovely day and bye bye.